Welcome back. Uh, normally I teach people how to grow food. Today we're going to teach how to cook food. One of my favorite crops, Jerusalem artichokes. It's got some nuances to it and a lot of people um, dismiss it right off the hop. It's a great crop, very, very good for self-sufficiency and self-reliance. We're going to cook a Ukrainian recipe, one of my favorites called uh, Daruniki or Daruni. And uh, stick around, it's going to be great. It's like potato pancakes. Really good. Um, this is just compost that I make and I store the Jerusalem artichokes in this. So we're going to dig some up, dig some up and we're going to get cooking. I'll show you how I clean them, how I prep them, everything. All right. So first you got to get all the dirt off. So I basically take, it's roughly around, around five pounds or so. Um, just fill one of these up, get a nice clean bowl. And then I actually love this. I use one of these kind of shower cleaners. So this has never been used in a shower. Um, it's just dedicated to cleaning trues and artichokes. But these are great for actually washing it in a laundry sink, uh, scrubbing them off, and then getting them as clean as possible. So I'm going to clean the rest of them, and then we'll cut them up. So if you want to avoid any kind of indigestion problems, you have to, have to, have to, have to, have to, have to boil them for 25 minutes first and then process them however you want. So we're gonna boil them and then we'll catch back up with you. Well down, we're actually gonna take a large onion. So this is about five pounds of Jerusalem artichokes. We're gonna take a large onion and we're gonna grate it. So. All right, so the onions are done. And then uh, the Jerusalem artichokes are still boiling away. What I like to do is basically scoop off, you know, all this stuff and just collect it. That stuff is good for, um, for compost. Good bacteria food. All right, now we're going to grate the Jerusalem artichokes into the same dish. All right, so they're all mashed up. Now we're gonna put in one egg, uh, roughly between five and eight tablespoons of flour, and uh, a quarter tablespoon of baking soda. And I'll show you what you want the consistency to look like at the end. Now you could actually put this in a blender or uh, you know whatever you want to mash it up if you wanted it, um, you know, finer grain, and it'll come out. Um, more like a pancake, less like a home fry. So just uh, experiment and see what you like. Okay, so you're doing one egg, and then we're going to add flour to basically bring the consistency to what we want. You want something that you can mash together into a patty and then fry it in a fryer. So it, it's for five pounds, it's roughly, what, five to eight. I prefer a bit more. And that's flour. Okay, so I added three more tablespoons. Okay, that's about the consistency that you want. Okay, so we're just gonna fry it in some little bit of oil. And you're just gonna try to clump it.
and you're going to do this on medium heat. Uh, you don't want to burn the oil because that's very unhealthy, uh, carcinogenic. So you want it on a nice medium heat that doesn't actually brown the oil. It's just going to warrant, like, get it hot. You can probably deep fry these. We don't have a deep fryer. So that's it. Here's nutritional information. Jerusalem artichokes on the left and potatoes on the right. Jerusalem artichokes are much lower calories and a great source of iron. All right, so just remember these things soak up whatever you put on them. So uh, traditionally they're served with cottage cheese uh, or sour cream, but you can do anything. One of our favorites that we're doing tonight is actually chana masala. So whatever you put on top of these things, they're just going to soak it up. And you flip them. Now the other thing you can do if you want when you're done with a batch is you can put them in the oven, uh, fairly low temperature, and just keep them warm. And then they'll kind of dry out a little bit that way, depending on how you like them. So just experiment how you like them. Alright, here's my favorite ways. Avocado and an egg. Chana masala, and then the kids like it just with salsa. Or you could do cottage cheese or cream cheese. Delicious. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, Jerusalem artichokes are kind of like a good staple food. Some say it's survival food, but honestly, they are so good. You just have to know how to cook with them. So try this recipe out. Try growing Jerusalem artichokes. In October, you're probably gonna be more happy to have Jerusalem artichokes and food instead of a sod grass lawn. Keep some of that lawn but get some of the Jerusalem artichokes planted. It's food for life. Thanks for watching.